I wanted to weigh in and rant a little bit about gun issues. And the reason for this is that people often come up to me and talk to me about uh, gun rights issues, Second Amendment issues, human rights issues. You know, what do you think about, was it Beto or, or Dianne Feinstein or somebody that recently made bump stocks illegal? Uh, right now it's, it's late 2019. And I think earlier this year, one of those folks made bump stocks illegal, just arbitrarily made this law. Something that no conservative or Republican or nobody that a conservative or Republican would support, somebody that's obviously their enemy, somebody that's opposed to the human right to defend themselves. So this Beto or Feinstein or whoever made this rule saying that you can't have bump stocks anymore. And just arbitrarily. And that's a horrible rule. Trump would not have let that happen. Even Obama would not have made that or let that happen. Uh, Clinton didn't let that happen. Bush Sr., Bush Jr., none of those folks let this happen. But guess who did? Beto or Feinstein or whoever made that rule. And it really makes me think. <clears throat> I don't follow the news, so I'm not sure which one. And I know I look ignorant here, um, but I'm not sure which one of them did it. Uh, but not following the news and only hearing tidbits here and there, it's all kind of sort of understandable if you understand propaganda and uh, psychops, uh, if you look at how the human minds are controlled, and I don't mean the human mind, that's much more difficult, but controlling the, the group's minds is much easier. And uh, if, if we look at the way that this is done, uh, it, it's, it's all so simple. Uh, imagine creating an enemy on one side, and this person says that that person is the enemy. That person wants to take away your guns, or your marijuana, or your, your gay spouses, or your right to free speech, or whatever. And this side says that person's the enemy. This person wants to get rid of all of those rights that you feel you have. Now, rights, whether or not there's such a thing is another, another issue, but play along for a moment. This side says that that one wants to get rid of those. This side says that this side wants to get rid of other rights. This side doesn't want to bail out important organizations like auto companies or, or central banks or that kind of thing. And, and then both sides go back and forth and they both try to get people to follow them. And if you understand the nature of the crowd and you understand human history you kind of start to realize that these sides aren't really against each other. They're both on the same side. And this side, who's saying that this side is bad because this side wants to make bump stocks illegal. So the Republicans say, you know, we're not going to, the Second Amendment isn't something, it says infringe. It doesn't say 100% outright violate, it says infringe. So obviously it's not a compromise kind of thing. So obviously Trump... Bush, Reagan, all the Republicans are never going to compromise an inch if, if they have any self-respect and actually principles believe in what they say. So they all say no part of the Second Amendment should ever be infringed upon. But they don't really believe that. That's the secret that I'm, I'm sorry to have to tell you. Because what happens is they get you looking over here and ticked off at Beto and and Obama, and, and Feinstein, and, and who was it, the guy, the Democrat that made the Brady rule or whatever, get, get upset at them. <clears throat> Democrats are the problem. The liberals, they want to take your guns. And so everybody looks over there and gets angry and is making sure the liberals don't take their guns. And then guess who does? And then this side, the liberals, they say, Watch out. The Republicans want to take your marijuanas. They want to take your gay spouses. They want to take away your right to free speech. They want to do all that. And everybody gets upset and looks at them. And then these folks don't do a thing in the world to stop those rights being taken away. <clears throat> Here's what frustrates me. is Those of you watching this are very few. And you probably already get it. 
It's the other 99% that don't get it and will stand up and, well, there's a reason that the, the Democrats supported the anti-marijuana law. And, well, and then the, the, uh, one of the Republicans, well, there's a reason that, that Trump supported the anti-gun law. And, well, it doesn't really matter because we're doing this to do that, and it's compromising so that, no, you don't compromise on principles. When a woman is about to get raped, and she's in an alley, and she's all alone, and somebody has taken her tool of defense, the best possible tool of defense, whether they took it from her 10 seconds ago, 10 minutes ago, 10 months ago, or 10 years ago, you take that tool from that woman and she gets raped, you're kind of a piece of crap. You might have done it through a vote. You might have done it as a politician. But if you supported that woman getting raped, if that's what you wanted, and you took away her best tool to defend herself, what kind of human being are you? It's the 99% that buy into all the junk that both sides have to offer and let this side take away rights you thought that side was going to take away and this side take away rights that you thought this side was going to take away and thinking that these two were fighting and getting passionate about Fox News or or CNN or, or what's the NPR. The, 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 they're all on the same team. If you don't get that, you should get that. You should read some books. And you shouldn't read the books that Rush Limbaugh or Ariana Huffington recommend. Don't read those. Don't read the books that the, the Federal Reserve says these are the best books. Or the ones that the, the, the Washington Post or Yale or Harvard or, or all these places. Don't, don't go along with that. McDonald's and Walmart aren't going to tell you the right books to read. Neither is Bernie Sanders. Let's, let's say he had an IQ over 110. Let's say he did. He still would not give you the right books to read. He is part of the system. As is Donald Trump. And I'm not saying this is some huge conspiracy. That's, that's crazy talk. That's, that's what the wackos say. I'm not saying that. I'm saying kind of the opposite. I'm saying that there are a, a bunch of people on a huge scale that are all agreeing to do something that in the long run hurts humanity. Okay, I guess I should look up the definition of conspiracy.